Hello guys, this is Rexon. Today we're going to be playing another game of Hue. Uh, this time, we have discovered the color purple and we have gotten through a couple traps with them. I hope I won't be as silly as last time, in which I cannot, for the love of me, use spacebar to jump. I will put the link to the game down below, but basically this game was free on Epic Games Store. And I decided to try it out. It had a lot of good awards, good music, gameplay, and... I wanted something less intense on my brain to play with. So I want to get started. Uh, first, then, all we have to do is jump on this, right? Oh, let's change color. Okay. We'll change the color to blue, no purple, so we can push this. Can we not? Wait. Mm. Purple. Okay, let's jump, change to blue, or oh, change to purple. And let's jump and change to blue. Oh, let's jump and change to... Ah, I screwed up, okay. Jump, change the world to purple. Jump, change to... Oh, jump and change the world to blue. I think I have to jump on this first. Alright. And then I jump and change the world to blue. Ah, oh, no, I screwed up. Alright, try that again. Purple, jump. Alright, change the world to blue. Change the world to purple again. I think there's a ledge. Oh, my bad. Purple. Oh, purple. Sorry, I'm getting confused. And then change it to blue. Change it to. We have to jump first. Purple. Change it to purple next. Jump and I mean blue next. Then jump again. Let's see what. Blue is. I think we can make the jump over there, right? Uh, but let's take the jump on this first. It appears that we need that to jump on to the other one. So let's change the world to purple as soon as we jump. Like that. And we made it! Alright! That was pretty intense. I like the game. I like the game. And we're chasing after this mysterious person. I still don't know who that person is. Alright, and I'm just a little boy. I think every single time you see that person, you get a new color. And this time we got the color orange. And each color is kind of associated with a god of sorts, it appears. We're going to switch to any other color to get in here. Alright, that's what we shall do. The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember his gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Okay, so this doctor, Dr. Gray, is a man, and apparently he had helped her early on and responded to her work. So this person, this woman, felt recognized and friendly towards this doctor. 
Alright, let's go into this place. Alright, wait, we went back in a circle. Uh, we now have orange, we can go down now. There's yellow. There's red. Those are traps. Okay, we can enter through this place. Dr. Chains Grace here. became my assigned mentor, and I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Oh yeah. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. That's the fire. More about true. color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted, we laughed. We worked long hours, and soon our gold became all-consuming. So what happened? The, the work became more important than us, and we knew it. And the professor was appeared to have a hand in making her the assistant. So perhaps the professor has ulterior motives. Who knows? We do not have dark blue, and thus we cannot access that place. Alright. Oh, what is that? I just made a sound. Okay. supposed to happen now? Okay, we are going to jump past it through. What's supposed to be behind here? Cannot tell. Okay. It just appears to be a circle. Okay, interesting. Um, uh, not exactly. I mean, are you are you able to use the? Uh... No, we're not able to use the chains. Okay. It just appears to block the path. There's just something upwards, but I don't know. There has to be something to the path I'm missing out here. Perhaps I know. It might be. It might be behind one of these. I go to find shift it over. And change colors. No, it's not here, it's not there. Can we shift this to blue. But we cannot shift it until we uh, move it away. So you have to shift we have to push this forward. Change this to purple. Jump up here, but what are we missing? I'm confused. Is there anything more? I know there's a path up here, but how do I get up there? Perhaps I jump off of that purple all the way on top. Oh, we can push this? I didn't realize. Oh, silly me, silly me. That makes much more sense now. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, so silly. Okay. And now we can go up here. Alright, we have to jump up there, so... There's only... we can only push left or right. 
so I assume we can only push this way. Then jump. Oh, that's our way out. No, I don't want to go back. No, no thank you. No, we push it this way. Wait, we, we have to use the key. So I have to go the other way. Alright. Oh, not enough. Alright, um... Not what I meant, my bad. Might be. Got the key. We pull this over here. Actually, we don't need orange anymore. We just need uh, purple to solve this. Actually, that's false. We do need this orange crate to be able to jump on the purple. And there you go. We have the key. We're able to enter, and we just have to change colors. I mean. I did orange, and then I did blue, and then I did purple, but now I have no way upwards. Can I push this? But this would fall on me, right? Oh, it doesn't fall on me. Okay, that's peculiar. So I have to pull this back, and then I have to so I have to jump across, right? So I have to arrange it in a way so that I'm able to jump on these without these blocking. Okay. Um, I think I have to go to purple, push colors, push this, and go back to purple, go back to blue. Go back to orange. Go back up here. Switch to whichever color. And then jump. So. I don't wanna fail this. It's gonna be that hard, right? <sighs> what am I doing wrong? I feel like I'm just like a tiny bit too far. Hmm. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. I'm an idiot. I see why. Alright. This is all I have to do to make it easier for me. All I have to do. I am such an idiot. Through and through. Alright, um, I figured it out. I just took forever. And there you go. We solved it. Whew. Uh, I'm definitely gonna edit uh, some parts of this out. Uh, and. Wow. It's tough. Okay guys, so I tried this level and I spent a frustrating amount of time figuring it out and then I realized I was dumb uh, to my own efforts. 
So I'll show you guys how to solve this level. I know it's not a smooth run and some conversations are cooked out, but you wouldn't want to see me struggling for like 15 minutes straight on this. <laughs> okay, so first off, you have to push this all the way over here. Next thing you do is you change colors. You push this all the way over here. And you change to orange. You change it to orange and you pull back underneath this. You change it to blue. And then when you change to orange, you just jump on the blue one and when you change it to blue, jump on the purple, and when you change it to purple, you jump on the orange, and ta-da! <laughs> there you go! You solved it! Um, this is the only part I have edited, but if you guys uh, enjoyed what I've done so far, and honestly just enjoy this video game, just please comment, like, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for how I can improve or give me tips on how to make these levels easier for myself, I really don't like looking up walkthroughs and tutorials, please comment down below. Uh, shout at me, scream at me, <laughs> make sure I know what I'm doing. And otherwise, this is Rexon, signing out.